Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to grab uh, uh, floating point input uh, from keyboard uh, in Java. Okay. So here we are uh, in my ID uh, NetBeans 8.02. Uh, so I'm just creating a new project here uh, to in order to write uh, a Java code. So Java Java application. Uh, let us say the name of the project as uh, Buffered, so buffered uh, float input. So whatever you wanted, uh, you can say, okay. So buffered float input here, okay. So NetBeans uh, automatically takes the privilege of creating all the uh, basic stuff like uh, uh, packages and all the main class, the default uh, main class, and so on and so forth. I'm just getting rid of all the comments uh, which were uh, uh, given by NetBeans. Uh, so by default uh, so to make ourselves uh, some room here okay so here we are uh, so this is the basic uh, java uh, class uh, uh, with the name of the same name of what we have uh, taken the project name here okay so buffered float input okay so first and foremost thing uh, we need to import uh, the io uh, package import java dot io dot star okay so the most the most basic thing we need to do uh, because uh, okay so since we are using the buffered uh, reader class which is uh, defined uh, inside this uh, io package uh, which is which is in turn uh, uh, defined in the java uh, main java file or jdk uh, uh, collection of classes here okay so now uh, next uh, we need to uh, set our main uh, such that it hand handles uh, all the io exceptions since we are uh, uh, making here uh, uh, the IO uh, input uh, using the buffer reader. Okay, so th throws IO exception here. Okay, so next I'm taking a, a floating point variable, so float flt1, and then I am uh, creating an object uh, for uh, buffered uh, reader. So buffered uh, reader class, uh, so I'm saying it pr is equal to new, so new input, so new input stream reader of uh, system dot in okay so new so I forgot a small syntax here so new buffered reader of input stream reader of system dot in okay so this is the uh, syntax input stream reader so new buffer reader of input stream reader. So okay, so uh, we have uh, missed a new keyword here. Okay, so new is also essential here. Okay, so new in buffer reader of new input stream reader of system dot in. Okay, so this is a huge syntax. <laughs> so in order to grab input, if uh, if you want to grab input uh, from the keyboard using the buffer reader class, you need to follow this syntax here. Okay, so next, uh, let's have. Oops, we have got rid of that. So next, uh, uh, we are uh, just putting a message here. Uh, let's say, let's say system dot out dot print ln. System dot out dot print ln of uh, let's say uh, so enter a floating point value or something like that. A small message, and then uh, using the uh, br uh, or using the flt uh, variable, uh, flt one variable, we need to grab the input using the br. Or else before that we need to parse that into floating point. Okay, so since we are uh, since the br dot uh, read line method which we are going to use uh, grabs the input in the form of a string. So we need to convert that whatever the string we have got from the keyboard or uh, when you are giving the input the streams uh, by default they take in the type of uh, string here. Okay, so we need to convert that string input into a floating point variable. So for that reason we are using this uh, parse float method. Uh, which consists of argument our read line method here okay okay so read line method with reference to the br string here okay so now the variable should be flt1 that's what we are uh, intended here okay so then uh, finally uh, we can output that uh, floating point variable which we have uh, grabbed using uh, 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 let's say the float value flt is equal to uh, plus using the concatenation operator flt1 okay so here we are so if we run the program using the f6 in netbeans 
if everything goes fine uh, it should ask it, it should ask for a floating point variable uh, like uh, you can enter 3.14 get the 3.14 displayed here okay so in this way uh, so not only 3.14 you can enter uh, any sort of uh, uh, floating point uh, variable like 4.122 or something like that okay so if you want to enter uh, grab a floating point uh, input using a buffered uh, reader class uh, so you need to uh, follow uh, this kind of uh, syntax okay to summarize once again uh, here we have taken a floating point uh, variable in order to store the uh, floating point value and then we have created an object uh, for a buffered reader class uh, which is most essential uh, to grab the input uh, from the keyboard and then we have used the float dot uh, parse float method uh, with the read line uh, method as an argument here okay so read line as soon as uh, the read line method is to take the input with reference to the br uh, object which we have created for the buffered reader class and that uh, whatever the uh, input uh, we are grabbing from the keyboard is in the format of a string so we convert that string into a, a floating point uh, variable using the float dot uh, parse float uh, method okay so and then we are storing that finally in our floating point variable okay so and then we are uh, uh, outputting it uh, using the system dot out dot println okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, grabbing a floating point input from keyboard uh, in java using the buffered uh, reader class so see you in the next lesson goodbye